Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day today. So what I wanna to do today, whole gist of it is, is we're doing a mega bonanza review of the FabFitFun Spring 2021 box, the Boxy Charm Feb 2021 box, and the Ipsy Glam Bag as well. Um, I did other unboxings and openings, so I just wanna go through the products that I used, quick and dirty, and tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and hopefully you can find this helpful. Um, so thank you for watching. So first off is the, um, also if you want to like skip ahead to the boxy charm or the Ipsy, I'll just write in the comments or the description below what time you can start watching it and then you can just go right to there. The whole point is to give you the reviews you want to see and then you can skip the ones you don't. So for FabFitFun, the spring 2021 um, box, I'm just going to show you the beauty products that I used and not the other, you know, planters or fitness stuff. So the first one um, that is the Elemis, um, the, the papaya enzyme peel. First off, it's a cream exfoliator. I've never used anything like this. You have to leave it on your face for about 10 minutes, which I don't usually like to do. However, it smelled so good and my face felt so good afterwards that I'm definitely going to use this very often. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Quick and dirty. Second. This uh, San Francisco Suns Out uh, Pouts Out Lip Mask. I was really excited to try using it. You just put it on, leave it there for 10 minutes, and then you just kind of rub whatever's left over in. Um, for me personally, it just made my lips feel really dry afterwards, and I accidentally tasted some of it, and it, it wasn't very <laughs> tasty. I know you're probably not supposed to be tasting it, but it's on your lips, so you kind of do. I'm going to give it another uh, try and then I'll let you know, but um, it wasn't one that I would be too happy about trying again. Next up is the Earth Harbor. It's a um, like a brightening oil. Um, you use it after toning your face. Uh, you can use it twice a day and it just says to use a couple drops. It comes in this uh, ampule and you just can do that. Um, I love the feel of it and I love the smell of it. I'm not sure if I've noticed any difference, but I've also only been using it for about two weeks or so. Um, so I'm going to continue trying it and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Next up, Spa Socks by H. Halston. So these ones are infused with aloe and you just, you put them on your feet and then uh, they're supposed to make your feet feel kind of soft afterwards. I put them on for about 20 minutes at a time just before I go to bed and my feet definitely feel softer. Um, there's also grips on the bottom so you don't fall. However, they're hard to walk in anyways because they're quite squishy. So I would say just something that you can do uh, while you're laying in bed. Um, the other, the one thing I don't like is you have to kind of wash them individually with in like soapy water and then have them hang to dry, which kind of take some time so I'm not a huge fan of that but here and there um, they overall I like enjoyed them when I used them this is the the brand I can never say say say, say. Um, these are uh, makeup remover slash cotton reusable cotton or reusable pads I've used this uh, to put my toner on and I've used this also to remove eye makeup and then just throw it in the wash they get a little pilly but still soft and I really like them. They give you three of them, so you can just kind of cycle them through the wash. The next one up is the Verso Eye Serum with Retinol. I've read good things about this. However, I am pregnant, so I didn't really want to use anything with retinol in it. I'm sure in small amounts it's fine, um, but I will try that one out uh, when the baby comes, and then I'll let you know about that one. I uh, purchased two additional things in the add-on for FabFitFun. I just, it's a brand I really, really love, so I wanted to include it in this video. It's a brand called Des Design Me, and then they have this um, Quickie Me, which is a dry shampoo. So this one's for blonde hair or lighter hair. And then this one is the um, Blow Dry Mousse. Smell good, love them both. Gave my hair volume extended my hair through washes really love them i've used their shampoos their gloss stuff which is an oil love 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 them and i would definitely purchase them on my own so please check this company out they don't sponsor me or anything but i love them okay fab fit fun done next up is um boxy charm i don't think i did an unboxing for this i just posted a video on my instagram but there's a couple things that i got here that i really enjoyed so 
Tula. This is a brand that I've used before. I've used their um, face cleanser. I didn't really like the smell of it. It's not that it's overpowering, but um, just didn't really like it, but still loved how it worked. This one is a, a deep exfoliating blackhead scrub and it's made infused with raspberries. Um, you can just kind of see it's like dark. It smells so good. It feels, your skin feels so good after and I'm definitely going to use this all the time. Highly, highly recommend. Happy with this Tula product. Next up is Wander Beauty. I've used their moisturizer before but haven't tried anything else. Um, so it's, it's a duo. It's a lip and cheek duo. Usually it's easy to open, but apparently I can't. There's a user error, I guess. So anyways, the top part is just a blush. So you just use it on your finger here. I'll just kind of show you. I'm just going to do the quick, easy way, but it's really easy to apply. And then it just kind of goes on really nicely. I know it should be higher up. Just because I play with this stuff doesn't mean I'm an expert. So it's easy to just kind of blush in there or brush in. The bottom one, which for some reason, oh there, now it opens, is clear. Um, and you can use it on your lips too. But I overall don't find that this really does much. I think you can make a dewy look on your face. I'm not sure how to do that. Um, so I'll play around more. But I like the color of this. Uh, blush and I'll definitely uh, try using it more. Next up is this, uh, it's called NCLA. It's just a cuticle oil. <laughs> from. It's a, like a little Valentine's spin, so it has um, little sparkles in it there, little hearts. It has a rose scented smell, which I generally do not like the smell of roses in makeup products anyways. Um, but it's so subtle when it's just on your cuticles. So every night I've been using it on both my hands and feet. Uh, my partner's also using it too. He uh, bites at his nails, so he's using that to stop it. Um, so you just kind of, like any cuticle oil, you just kind of pull it up like a dropper, and then you can just drop it right on. And I really, I really like it, and I know it's going to last me a long time. So definitely would recommend this one. Um, next up from them is this set of um, makeup brushes by from Glam Glamier. Glamier. Uh, I love anything sparkly because you can tell by my nails. Um, so this was really appealing to me, and also for Valentine's Day. So there's just a little kind of spark, little sparkles in them, and they just move up and down. One day I'll get the hang of where the camera, <laughs> where the camera is on this. And um, this is an eyeshadow, different eyeshadow brush set. So I uh, found the bag was very kind of cheap looking, but I won't, I won't be using that. I'll just put them in with my other brush, brushes. With that, uh, there's two eyeshadow palettes. One's called The Queen um, by a brand called um, Eloise or a company Eloise. And it's gorgeous. Let me just walk off the mirror here. It's got tons of really, really, really nice colors. They're not deeply pigmented, if you want to see. I'll just do a couple swatches. So, um, why do I always have trouble with swatches? I'll never learn how to do them. Okay, let's try this again. So just along in here. So there's a pink, and then there's a purple, for example. So not deeply, deeply pigmented, but you can blend them a lot. And I've, I've done a couple looks on my Instagram, bottom of the box beauty, and you can just take a look at some of the eyeshadow looks that I've done with that. And um, other palette they got is this Ace Beauty. I'm assuming that's how you say it. This color palette is super bright. You can see. I would never usually ever purchase something like this. The colors are very, I would find they're very pigmented. Like, I'll just keep showing you along here. So in comparison, you can just see like they're quite pigmented, so I like them. Um, so I haven't actually really played around with this one as much because I got a little intimidated. So I'm just going to kind of show you. Um, I'll pick any color here. I think I'll do um, like a, a purple called Carnival that I've never used before with my new eyeshadow brush. And just kind of show you <laughs> like how deeply pigmented they are. I've never used makeup 
in front of a computer before. So ignore that. And I would, <laughs> um, but you can kind of, <laughs> I'm just making fun of myself now. You can kind of see how it blends in. Guys, I'll get better at this once I start doing makeup in front of a computer, but I've never done it before. It's all backwards, but so you can kind of see here that you do, you can do just a little blending and it's really, really bright. I know I totally look like a clown right now, um, but that's okay because I'm just here to show you how the stuff works. Okay, so this is just generally like how pigmented it can become. Okay, so next up um, then finally is the Ipsy Glam Bag. And so it's this one that I got from February. Inside I received these two face masks by uh, Sure Medic. They were um, lovely. I would use them again. The um, vitamin one felt a little bit sticky afterwards, but otherwise was fine. And the, um, I'm just laughing at my eyes right now. Uh, anyways, it is what it is. You can see the pigment. Um, and I believe there is some blush that I got there too. Maybe I should do the look before and show you, but I wanted you to just to see the ease of which it is applied, I guess. Anyways, both of these masks are really good. I'd use them again. Uh, they both have, you know, when they say rub the essence in afterwards, a lot of extra. So I use a bit of a washcloth to dab them, but I would definitely use these again. Um, I received uh, this Hey Honey, uh, this Hey Honey lip balm, which doesn't have any color, but it's watermelon and smells amazing. And I definitely recommend it again. There's one I haven't actually got to use. It's a Cote de um, It's um, a mask, but it has salicylic acid in it. So I just wanted to wait until after the baby before I started using that one. Um, so I'll let you know about that. These next two I'm reluctant because I wanted to attempt to try them on. And this is my first time putting makeup on, like I said, on camera. But we'll see. So this is a Koki Cosmetics. It's Crystal Fusion. I'm going to try guys. I don't know what's going to happen, but you can see, I'll show you the swatch kind of thing here. Like it's very, very sheer. Okay. Here it goes. Everything's backwards. But you can kind of see that it's, I'm totally butchering this. I'm really telling you, it just adds some sparkle to it. And there you have it. So I'll just leave the one on. And finally, I'm going to attempt a mascara, which who knows what's going to happen. It's pure, fully charged mascara. Uh, I tried it and I found it to be very dry. I don't know if it's just because of the size of the container. Um, but I'll, I don't know how this is gonna go. But. Okay, I think this is a bit easier. But everything's just backwards. So I don't know if you can kind of see the difference. I have like no, my eyelashes are so blonde. So if you can kind of see a difference. So um, not super impressed with, mas with this mascara, but I don't know if it's just because it's dried out. So I'm not sure if I would uh, recommend it. If you guys have had a good experience, just let me know. So overall, that was the quick and dirty of the three different products. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying um, my lovely eyeshadow. Ace Beauty, I'm sorry that I ruined <laughs> your brand by making myself look like a clown, but you can just see how pigmented they are and I love them. So highly recommend uh, the Ace Beauty eyeshadows. So thank you so much for watching. Take a few minutes, tell me what you think. Um, if you agree with some of the products or if you have any suggestions um, or comments, I would love it. And anyone that does makeup videos, please give me tips on how to <laughs> get used to doing it because uh, it's very hard to do on camera. Okay. Have a lovely weekend and um, coming up will be, I guess, the next Ipsy and BoxyCharm bags that are coming within a, within a week or two. All right. Bye.